at the end of my career, um, I do want to leave a legacy behind for the younger generation to follow. Of course, starting with my own family, you know, I have a lot of nephews, nieces, cousins uh, mm -hmm. that I want them to pick a sport, um, professionally or not, but mm -hmm. I feel like sports did help me a lot physically and mentally, and it might help them too. Uh, my father, uh, especially, he didn't want me to prioritize sports over education. Uh, and I, as I grew older, I see where it was coming from because back home, uh, athletes do struggle socioeconomically. And I feel like that leads to a lot of athletic talent going unnoticed. Uh, and of course, I don't want that to happen to the uh, next generation coming up. As any athlete, I think the uh, ultimate goal of my track career would be to represent my country in any of the international competition, you know, the Asian Games, the South Asian Games, uh, the Olympics. Um, you know, uh, apart from these obvious goals would be to advocate for the athletes, you know, maybe a union or uh, international exposure because, you know, international exposure would lead to sponsorship deals. So. Uh, yeah, overall just advocate for a good sporting culture in the country. So, um, yeah, I am training for the Asian Games. Um, I am training to get selected in the national team. Um, and it's the second biggest competition after Olympics any athlete in Nepal could train for, you know. And I am putting in my time, I feel like I'm doing the hard work. Um, not because I wake up with a sore lower back every day or my hamstrings are tight uh, and that my shin splints never seem to go away but uh, I'm improving I feel like I am uh, I am putting in the time and improving um, no words to describe how I would feel uh, if I get selected but uh, I think I, I, I can tell you how I would feel if I would not make the team you know um, last national games I missed the podium by 0 0.08 seconds and it was it was a horrible feeling you know I felt emotional I found no joy in anything I did and um, I started looking for excuses, you know. So um, that's how I would feel, but just amplified by 10. So if I made the team, I don't know how I would feel because it's like imagining a new color, you know. At this stage of my sporting career, I'm yet to experience the weight of bearing a national flag and representing a nation. So.